Hello, and welcome to another episode of Exact Tax, brought to you by Actionable Insights. My name is Seth Harrison, and today I want to talk about exterior variables. Most of us are familiar with the internal variables, F for floor, C for ceiling, W for walls. But there are also external variables that use your sketch and algorithmically calculate the variable and the calculations that you're looking for. So let's take a look. I'm in X1. I've dropped in a room. I'm going to come down here to the main level. I'm going to right click and hit properties. And right here, I'm going to see variables. Now this for me is going to open up on another monitor. So I'm going to bring it up to you guys over here. And the first one I want to drill down on is exterior wall, EW. And you can see here that it's 456 square feet. This is a 12 by 12 room, but with wall thickness, the exterior walls are 12 by 8 by 12 by 8. And that comes out to 450 square feet. Now the next ones I want to look at is EWOSF and EWOSFD, what they're actually calculating and how they react to adding doors and missing walls. So I'm going to close this so I can get back to my sketch. I'm going to hit my M, M as in Mike, uh, key for my missing wall. You'll see that I highlighted the missing wall here, missing wall M. And I'm going to throw in a missing wall of approximately five feet here. Now let's go back down here. I'm going to show you a different way to see the main level properties. I'm just going to right click anywhere in the white outside of the rooms. I'm going to come down to properties and you'll see it opens that up again. I'm going to go to my variables. It opens on another window. I'll bring it up. So what exactly happened here? Now EWOSF and EWOSFD are calculating the same exact thing. They're saying that five foot missing wall uh, it comes up plus the height comes out to 33.33 square feet. You can see here my EW has changed. It was 456, but so you're, it's telling you that this exterior wall area measurement or this variable is automatically deduce, deducting missing walls. So if you add a missing wall to an exterior, to an exterior wall, this EW is going to change automatically and account for the missing wall. And we know that that's going to be 456 minus the 33.33 here. Now. Let's have some fun. I'm going to hit D for my doorway hotkey, D for doorway, and I'm going to drop it in on the left side over here. What changes exactly in our external variables? So my EW has gone down a little bit more. My EWOSF has gone up, and my EWOSFD has stayed the same at 33.33. What does this tell us? The EWOSFD, sorry, EW stayed the same. EWOSF is including all openings. That includes missing walls, doors, and windows. EWOSFD is only including missing walls. There is no uh, doors or windows uh, included, and I imagine this has something to do with my default profile settings and whether or not I'm deducting windows and doors based on a certain square footage. And then finally, my EW is only taking uh, the external wall variables minus the missing walls. So if you wanted to get a calculation for uh, the exterior wall area with missing walls, doors, and windows deducted, as far as I can tell, there's only one calculation that makes it work. And I am going to drop in a stucco line item here. Let's do it on my exterior walls. It shows me that the default calculation is EW, but as I know, that's not including this door and window here. So let's say, for example, I wanted to deduct this, uh, uh, this door here. I can come into my calc. I'm going to write EW minus EWOSF minus EWOSFD. Boom. Obviously, that's going to be lower than our 422 number. So what exactly does that calc? Here, let me see if I can make it a little bigger so we can analyze it in full. What that's telling me is, hey, I need the EW. That includes all of my exterior walls, but does not include the missing uh, walls. So that's uh, 422 here, EW. But then I also want to get rid of this additional uh, 17 or so square feet that is included in my door. So my EWOSF is 50 minus EWOSFD 33.3. Three. So now all of the uh, variables and measurements of uh, my doors and windows will be included so that this final calculation here, the quantity 406, means all exterior walls deducting the missing walls and doors and windows accordingly. So these external variables can be very helpful in the estimating process for hail and exterior uh, losses in general. 
And so I thought it was important to, to know what's actually included in EW, EWOSF, EWOSFD, how they react to missing walls, and how they react to doors and windows. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. This has been another Exact Tech. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week.